making a bolt using Creo 2.0. First thing I'm going to do is set the working directory. I created a folder on my desktop, so I'm just going to select the desktop. M8 bolt. Say OK to it. I'm then going to start a new part. Go to new. Name it M8 bolt. Say OK to it. I'm going to start by doing the hexagonal head. Just go to extrude. I'm going to select this right datum plane. Spin it onto sketch view. Two ways I can draw the hexagon. It's either by using the palette command or I'm going to use the circle command to draw me a constraining circle. Select it, bring it into the middle, draw a circle at any old size. Go to the line command, select it, and draw a set of lines. Start anywhere on the circle, left click once. Bring the line horizontally across, left click again. Bring it down, let it snap to the intersection of the circle and the reference plane, left click again. Down, let it snap to the edge of the circle on the angle left click, horizontally across, back up to the intersection of the circle and the reference line, left click, and then back to the circle on the start point, left click again. Move the cursor away and then middle mouse. This will complete the profile that you've just drawn. Middle mouse again will show us some values. I want all the sides of the hexagon to be the same length, so let's go to the equals command left click onto it. I'm going to select the horizontal line and also the angled line. These are now the same length and if I do the same again select the angled line this time and the next angled line left click again you will notice that all the hexagon lines have become the same length. This is because it's constrained horizontally and point to point in the circle. Again on the angle and the intersection and so therefore this length must change also and the horizontal line on the bottom will also change. This in turn will also change automatically the, the lines on the other two sides of the hexagon. Now this value on the outside of the circle, I want to go and change this because I want it to be 13mm across the flats. Select normal, select the horizontal line, select the other horizontal line, middle mouse in space change this to be 13 and enter. Refit it. Middle mouse in space or go back to the select command to deselect the dimension tool. Now my hexagon is constrained by this outer circle. I don't want to delete the circle but I must do something to it for the extrude to work. Hover over it left click onto it and then right click and hold come down to construction. This will turn the outside circle into a construction line which still exists and still holds its properties but doesn't interfere with the extrude. I can then come to the green tick to accept the sketch. It takes me back into the 3D environment. Go to AB, scroll down, select trimetric. I'm going to turn the extrude going to the other direction and I'm going to give it a value of 6. Enter. Green tick to accept it. Click away in space to deselect everything. To make the hexagon look like a real bolt head, I'm going to go and put a revolver around it to just chamfer off the corners properly. Go to revolve and I'm going to select the datum plane that runs through the longest point of the hexagon, which is this one. Select it and spin it onto sketch view. I want to rotate the view 90 degrees so I have this edge here horizontally on my screen. Select sketch setup and I'm going to rotate the reference orientation to the right. Say so sketch. I can now come and reference this outside edge and also this top surface here right click and hold, go to references, 
select outside edge and the top edge close the reference box down I can come and put the axis of revolution in first of all so right click and hold come down to axis of revolution select it let it snap to the vertical reference line left click once bring the cursor down and round left click again middle mouse will take me out of the command I can now come to the arcs command select it my cursor will now snap to the reference line left click once bring the cursor across left click again onto the other reference line and just create myself an arc middle mouse again will give me some values I'm just going to move the values into space so we can see them this value here I know the distance across the flats is 13 mil so I'm going to go and change this to be 12.7 double click it I want to go and change the value on the radius to be 2 mil and this value here I'm going to go and overrule I'm going to select my normal command I'm going to select the end point of the arc the horizontal surface and middle mouse in space this value I'm now going to change to 5.5 double click it enter I can now click on the green tick to take me back into the 3D environment I can change the direction of the revolve to be on the outside I'm just going to rotate the view over slightly so you can see what it's doing tell it to remove material and then green tick to accept the revolve click away so now can we put the shaft of the bolt on then we can come and thread it I'm going to rotate the view over I'm going to do an extrude onto the bottom of the hex select it select sketch view I can now draw a circle from the center point left click once bring it out left click again middle mouse will give me a value move the value out double click it change it to 8 click away I can then green tick to accept it rotate the view round and zoom out double click it and let's make this 35 mil long green tick to accept it click away in space will deselect everything let's come and put a small chamfer on here first select chamfer select the bottom edge change it to be 0.3 enter This will make a smooth transition of the thread when it comes to cut into the bolt. To cut the thread into the bolt we'll do a helical sweep. So I'm going to come to my sweep command, click on the drop down, change it to be helical sweep. I need to get a reference. Define. And select a reference plane to sketch onto it. Select sketch, select sketch view. Again I'm going to rotate the view over, sketch setup, click on the drop down, it's going to change it to left, S select sketch. I'm going to put the cursor down the bottom and zoom in. I now need to come and reference this edge and also this edge. The first thing I'm going to define is the length and shape of the thread to be. So right click and hold, go to references. I'm going to select this edge and also this edge. Zoom out a little. Say close. I'm going to draw myself a line which will snap to the intersection of the two reference lines. If I zoom in again, note it doesn't snap to the point, it wants to snap to this point here. Left click once, 
I'll zoom out again. And I'm going to come up the shaft. Left click again. Middle mouse will cancel the line command. I can then come to the arcs command. Select it. Let it snap to the end of the line I've just drawn. And create yourself an arc that comes out. Middle mouse again. What this will do is give a smooth transition of the thread where it finishes on the bolt. It's going to create me some new dimensions. I'm going to go to my normal command. Select the controlling length and middle mouse. I'm going to change this to 25. Enter. I'm then going to change this value here to be 4. Enter. And the value of the arc to be 10. Enter. Click away in space. I also need to create an axis of revolution for the thread to spin around. To do this, make sure you're in the select command. Right click and hold. Come down to axis of revolution. Let it snap to the vertical reference line. Bring it round. Let it snap again to being vertical. And left click again. You can then come straight back into the green tick to take me back into the 3D environment. I can set the pitch of the thread to be 1.25. Standard for M8. I can now come and sketch the profile of the thread. Zoom back into the bottom. The thread is going to be a triangle, so I'm going to make it symmetric as well. So to do this, I'm going to create a center line. Select center line. Let it snap to the vertical reference line, but don't let it snap to anything else. I'm just going to left click once, bring it out horizontally, left click again. I'm then going to come to my line command, select it. I'm then going to come to the outside corner here, left click once. Bring it down, let the hex snap to the newly created center line, left click again, bring it down, left click anywhere, once it snaps, go back to the start point, left click again, move the cursor away, and then middle mouse. Middle mouse again will give me some values. The first value I want is the angle, standard for metric threads is 60 degrees. I'm then going to go and make it symmetric. Use a symmetric icon. Select it. Select endpoint. Endpoint. Center line. Middle mouse away. Double click on the value of the line. I haven't got a reference book in front of me to tell me the width of the opening for the thread cut. I'm going to go and make it 1.2 since we've got a 1.25 pitch. Enter. Click away in space to deselect everything. Let's click back onto the green tick to take us back into the 3D environment. Come across Remove Material. And green tick to accept. Click away to deselect everything. And there's your bolt. 